Hi, I'm glad you could join me again today. I am in the book of 2 Peter. Now, if you have listened to these blogs for any length of time, you have heard me say again and again and again, and my my family has heard it from me ad nauseum, that we need to keep our nose in the scripture. That's the, that's the bottom line. That's the theme, the very first thing that the Lord told me after I came to know him as, as the Savior was, your word will not return, or rather my word will not return empty. Uh, that's the issue that is going on in our society. There is a battle against the knowledge of the scripture in our day. Now you hear that theme again and again. If you were with me yesterday, you heard me speak about Psalm 19, which is that particular theme. If you were with me last week, you heard me say that very same thing in other passages about how God reveals himself and how he speaks. Well, it's in the New Testament as well. And that's what we need to see regularly, and I just want us to, uh, just to, just to sense how important that is to the mind and the heart of God. Now, it's not just that he wants us to listen to the word just to keep us busy and, and occupied, but in 2 Peter chapter 1, this passage tells us why we need to, um, to listen to the scripture. Listen to what Peter says. He says, by which he has granted to us his precious and very great promises, so that, that's important, so that through them you may become partakers of the divine nature, having escaped from the corruption that is in the world because of sinful nature. Sinful desire, excuse me. Do you understand what he's saying? He's saying that in order to to acquire the values and the nature and the growth and uh, and all that God wants to work within us, in order to do that, we need to listen to the scripture. But there is a flip side to it as well. Not only do do the scriptures give us um, that character so that we're conformed to the image of Christ, excuse me, but it also allows us to escape the corruption that is in this world. And this is a very corrupt world. You don't have to watch television very long to realize just how corrupt it is with all of the sex and the violence and all of the values of this world that go counter to the scripture. Not, not just counter to the old Puritan values, but counter to the scripture themselves. That's what much of our entertainment media is promoting and pushing these days. There is a corruption that is in this world that will get into your life and into my life if we allow ourselves to focus our attention upon this world and its values rather than upon the scriptures and upon the revelation that God has given. So the, so the writer here, in this case Peter, is trying to tell us that he wants us to be conformed to the image of Christ by the reading of of the scripture. Not just conformed to the image of Christ by um, uh, just just, uh, by osmosis, but it happens because we read and we meditate upon the word of God. Now that's a theme. You're going to hear that as long as you continue to listen to me. And as long as the Lord gives me breath, that's one of the major themes that I'm going to be speaking. And every time I find that in the scripture, which is often, I, I rejoice in it. And it just reminds me again how important it is that I read and study the scripture. But not just me, it's important that you do the same. All of us need to read the scripture. It may be that you don't, uh, um, that you aren't able to read. 
Maybe that's one of the attractions of this video blog, but, but it's important that you learn what it means to read and how to do that. And that's why in many cases our missionaries that go to remote parts of the world start by teaching the people uh, how to read their own language. And if that language isn't written down, then they translate that and they create a Bible in that language so that the people can read. So that by reading, the character of Christ can come in and the corruption that's in this world can be put away. That's why the scriptures are given to us. And it's not just here in this passage in 2 Peter. It's also in what Paul says in, in Galatians 1 where he says that Christ died on, our, on the cross to deliver us from this present evil age. Throughout the scripture, Jesus told us, be in the world, but not of the world. And so all of those things are very much related to this passage of scripture. And I invite you, urge you, implore you, read. On a regular basis, read the word. Father, I ask you to help us to draw near to you through our study of the scripture. Give us ears to hear, eyes to see, hearts to obey, and guide us for your namesake. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.